Well, you know, Jesse, I'm glad you brought that up because I actually asked my team about that today, why my name was on the list, because I don't even own any stocks uh, and I haven't all of 2023. As a matter of fact, we have to report everything, including children who are dependents of ours. And I think what was reported was actually related uh, to my son's account that, that my, his father and I had set up for him years ago. So the Unusual Whales is a trading company looking for customers. They're not always accurate in their reporting. Um, but thank you for bringing that up and letting me address that issue. Uh, even though Marjorie Taylor Greene went on Fox News to talk about being swatted again over the holidays, Jesse Waters couldn't help but to ask her about her name showing up on a list of congressional members that saw their stock portfolios increase, a sign that she may have been taking part in some activities that one of her buddies has openly railed against. AOC is wrong a lot. She'd probably say the same thing about me, but she's not corrupt. And I will work with anyone and everyone to ensure that Congress is not so compromised. We should disallow congressional stock trading for the same reason we don't allow the referee to bet on the game. And this is not a small amount of money. $788 million worth of securities traded by members of Congress last year. About one in every four members of Congress is doing this. And it's not exactly like I'm elected with a bunch of Gordon Geckos and Bobby Axelrods. Take Lois Frankel, who you just mentioned. Yeah. She's been a lawmaker since I was five years old. <laughs> and I'm supposed to believe that all of a sudden she's making moves like she's Warren Buffett. Th this congressional stock trading has all of the fairness of like a Leah Thomas swimming competition. <laughs> and I think we should put an end to it. Matt Gates made that appearance in May of last year. But anyone accusing Marge of anything shady must be wrong. She said it was her son's account that triggered her name showing up on that list. She and her ex-husband simply created that account for their kid years ago. So there's nothing to see here. Right, Matt? And we wanted to make sure that members of Congress couldn't just have a veneer to have a family member trading the stock for them. So perhaps it's the Pelosi provision <laughs> of our legislation that does not allow spouses to do these trades on behalf of their family members and would require any blind trust to very quickly uh, sell those stocks so the American right. people know we're working for them, not our own pocketbook. It's looking like that Pelosi provision needs to make room for some of Matt's buddies. In his response to members of his own party making the list that he tried to paint as only having Democrats on it, it's going to show whether or not he's against insider trading or if he's just trying to use the issue for political gain. If he needs any help, though, he can consult a prominent figure that might have some extensive information on Green. And since all of his political attachments are gone, all this guy wants to do is talk. This is all digitized these days. It's not hard to see a person saying, hey, do this trade, just got a good tip. She's pushed back on that, though. Yeah, well, they all push back. But can somebody explain to me how is it that she miraculously becomes a member of the committee and then she's doing trades on NYCB with the signature bank collapse just the day before, having an 80% stock hike? That's not a lucky trade, Marsha. That's a very well-informed trade.